Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spend series. Now jumping into episode 13, 13 of our Broke Adventures. Man, it has been a while, aka a week, but so much has happened in that time, especially if you're a No Money Spend player. Now, if you've been playing daily, you're pretty much aware of everything that's been going on, but if you haven't been here for a while, guys, there is so much changing when it comes to the no money spent. For starters, y'all can see one card I went ahead and picked up in order to Evo was this brand new Diamond Tyson Chandler. All you had to do was get 100 points and 15 blocks. Basically did that as I was grinding out my domination because like I said, we're gonna get that Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis at the end of the day. But this right here is a solid filler. We weren't looking to pay 80,000 MT for a Diamond Porzingis. And now you've got a 7-1 guy with an insane build and they gave him a 71 three ball now by no means is that a leap but that's gonna be scary enough that people can't necessarily leave them open in the corners solid driving layup 85 driving 95 standing i mean he became much faster as well 79 speed and acceleration insane rebounding stats the defense went up as well and badge wise man four hall of famers including masher anchor post lockdown and brick wall you can't ask for much more when it comes to an insane side with that 18 gold one silver and this is just one of many cards that came out in the last week again guys if you are a no money spent player it is that time to eat now one thing that does scare me is this might be the episode that we might be getting rid of someone we love dearly on this series and that might be diamond zaire williams yes he was originally owned we've been through a lot with this car but with the amount of content that's coming out now and in the future man things are about to get crazy whether you spend money or don't spend money on the game like i mentioned before there was that diamond tyson chandler and while there was cards that came out in packs the cards in packs aren't the ones to focus on it's the evos and all the other free cards now of course if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button we're on that grant that half a milli recently just hit 402,000 already so thank you very much for the support as i was gone these last couple days but y'all can see the zen set that dropped on friday man the cards to talk about here are the budget ones diamond shaquille o'neal solid and really the only two cards worth discussing in this set in my opinion is diamond Lori marketing who is a seven foot power forward with a very solid jumper and i believe he's got limitless range and then you've got diamond thorough bailey who a lot of people are calling the best power forward in the game now y'all know i love my thorough Acumpo. i've been showing this card praise since nba 2k 20 man and now he's out here and people are saying he's better than pink diamond Giannis and galaxy opal ad at the four of course at the five ad is still gonna be elite and then you've got this amethyst john kaminga definitely not a bad budget option if you're just starting out but honestly you'll be able to outdate these cards here pretty quick and talking about Shaq, he's gonna be a solid inside center but i prefer someone like tyson chandler because even though Shaq might be a little bit better in the paint offensively tyson still got that big build and he got that threat to shoot from the three if you know how to time that shot and that's just the beginning of all the content that we've been getting this week one other card i went ahead and picked up that recently got an evo like what yesterday is this guy right here amethyst france wagner this is the guy that's potentially going to be replacing zaire williams also standing at 6 9 y'all see these stats right here right some major improvements are about to happen in just a second because when we go take a look at the evolution right here man look at how juiced he gets the three ball goes up to a 90 ball handle goes up defensively he gets so much better now gets a 90 driving dunk speed and speed with ball goes crazy and then you get to the badges they gave him so many badges i don't know why but i love it hall of fame acrobat gold bully limitless takeoff and posterizer badges he couldn't even hold before hall of fame slithery corner specialist and guess what gold dead eye limitless clamp breaker and handles for days those are badges he could not hold before needle threader gold quick first step unpluckable ankle braces challenger clamps glove interceptor menace pick dodger post lockdown pogo stick 
I mean, all he's really missing is like a Hall of Fame anchor, and you can pretty much run with this card the whole time. So we're not going to waste any time here, guys. We're going to go ahead, hit that X button, and boom, just like that, we've got ourselves a Diamond Franz Wagner. Now, these Evos, like I said, not very hard to do. This was 100 points, 40 assists. You can get that while playing Domination, and that's exactly what I was doing. I promised you guys we were going to be able to at least secure one pink diamond by the next episode. And y'all can see I almost have everything done here. The most important one, the Lakers. So hopefully by today's episode, we should be able to get that pink diamond James Worthy and then get these out of the way, get Galaxy Opal AD. And that's as far as I'm going to go with trophy case grinding. For those of you that are a little bit more ahead than me and are close to the dark matters, go get them. Those cards are amazing. But for me, I'm too far behind. And by the time I catch up, there's going to be godly cards out there already. And they might be outdated for me unless they decide to give them evos because 2K has been doing that. But then we go on to take a look at the daily logins and 2k gave us even more cards one of them this award pack right here then you get ruby wendell carter for rebounds you also get this ruby james hard for securing a double double a diamond jerome kersey for dropping 20 points in a game three times this card could be nice and then the card that ended up dropping today score 10 points in the paints in a game with a player four times gives you that diamond mark aguirre so y'all can see they're dropping a lot of cards that have potential to be absolute demons at the three and the four so someone that i have on my team that is auctionable like zaire williams honestly i don't want to get rid of him so this is what i'm gonna do i will bury him in the bench right there because this man has been the mascot for the no money spent i've talked way too highly about this card to get rid of him now on top of all that, as far as challenges goes, man, 2K brought back all these moments of the week, which honestly is a big dub because now I actually need these centerpieces for moments of the week five and moments of the week eight right there. That's going to get me that much closer to AD. So I'll probably get all those done off camera. And then I think they also brought back all the moments cards once again. So if there's cards that you missed out on that you want, go ahead and get them. There's no card here that I think is worth getting at this point in the year. I think all of these cards are are really just for collector level but aside from that they are fairly outdated now the cards that we did get that also got evos aside from that franz wagner include an evo ruben patterson this guy was someone i spoke highly of that would end up being a solid budget player and they made him even better the thing is i've got such good shooting guards right now so i don't think i need him right now if i find out he's a demon i'll pick him up you got robert ori who's got one of the fastest jumpers in the game so if y'all like a bit more offense not a bad card to put at the four and then Bruce Bowen, who is pretty much looking like Kawhi Leonard on crack cocaine. I mean, they boosted the defense. They boosted the shooting even more. And for those of you guys that don't know about Bruce, man, he locks it down. Now, with Franz getting his recent evolution here, he is going to be a problem. Now, the jumper is a little bit slow off the snatchback, off the catch and shoot. It looks beautiful. Flick of the wrist, very easy to time. And the fact that he's got that gold limitless range right now makes him a threat. On top of that gold quick first step, getting to the basket, no problem now that we have that 90 driving dunk. But one card I have not seen anyone talk about at all and would like to find out if he's decent is Jerome Kersey. He had such a broken jumper back in 2K20. Is it nice this year? I don't know about that. It's got like a load up. You see how it like stays at the top there? It hangs there for a little bit. I think that gives people too much time to contest. Now, if this is a card you get from logging in daily and you just started out in the game, very solid card. All these cards that have been dropping are dubs. And honestly, my favorite part about season three so far has not been the packs or the cards in the packs at all. It's been the fact that they've been showing so much love to all these cards of the past. The thing is, I'm not sure where they go from here because the first week we got guards. The second week, we got big men. This third week here, we got forwards. So are they going to reset back to guards next week? And if so, should I be looking into Amethyst point guards and buying them in the case that they might go up in value next week and I make MT? A lot of questions here, but uh, yeah, man, Jerome Kersey is solid. I'm going to stick to using Franz, though. So aside from this diamond Mark Aguirre that we're missing, y'all can see that we're actually halfway to this mystery galaxy opal curious on who it's gonna be but i definitely recommend you guys go ahead and get caught up because y'all can see we're now at 93 the one tomorrow is gonna be a 94 and right after we're going into free pink diamond territory and it's not like any of these cards have been bad whatsoever very similar to last year where a lot of these budget cards have actually been very solid but now ladies and gentlemen it's time to secure another pink diamond here on the no money spent y'all can see we are 9 out of 15 here when it comes to worthy one thing that's gonna be big time is 
is that centerpiece. But of course, I've been grinding triple threat online co-op. And when you get to 25 wins, you get a centerpiece. When you get to 50 wins, you get another centerpiece. So I'm probably gonna get that out of the way. If y'all ever wanna play co-op with me, let me know in the comments, drop your PSNs, and I'll probably end up adding a couple of you guys. But uh, since we already got that out of the way, we've got a lot of unopened packs. We've been stocking these up for the moment that we could go get a pink diamond. And for those of you guys that might not know where the pieces go, I'm gonna put something up on the screen for you here. Go ahead and screenshot it, save that image, and it'll be a lot easier for, you know, locking in and handling all the trophy cases because something I'm very confused they didn't do for us was help us with that. It's so hard to know what goes where. They should have just named it, this trophy goes here and made it easier for people. Cause the amount of duplicate stuff I've gotten that we don't even need is crazy. And y'all can see I'm sitting on pretty much every single piece so one thing i forgot we're actually gonna need is to lock in this whole set so there's gonna be 30 tokens for five cards there five times three 150 and then 10 times two here that's 20 so that's only 170 tokens which means we've got enough let's just go ahead and fly through this part the fact that Talon horton tucker costs 30 tokens should literally be criminal and lonnie walker that's wild this right here should be the last and final piece and of course it's gonna be kobe bryant man can't say los angeles lakers with that coat without kobe bryant that's for sure but uh hop on over to trophy case and boom ladies and gentlemen just like that our second ever pink diamond so far has been secured definitely a lot more to come one thing i realized i'm gonna need is a lot of tokens if i'm gonna be getting those other players but uh yeah, Sharif Abdurrahim, you're very solid, don't get me wrong, but James Worthy is just so good in this game. And honestly, if I'm being real, he's not really the best power forward for me right now. If I was going to go for the best one, it was likely going to be Thurl Bailey. But here's the thing about Thurl Bailey. Y'all know I love Thurl Akumpo every single year, but in this case, people realize he's good. Like I said, people are running him over Pink Diamond Giannis and Galaxy Opal AD. And for that reason, I thought he was going to be more expensive. The other day, he was literally going for over 50k. But if he's going for a budget value, then I just locked in for James Worthy <laughs> for him to come off the bench. Yeah, we're getting this card. I'm not even going to waste time trying to snipe this card because I want to get into some online and get hoopy with a bunch of these cards. But 35,000 MT, say less. Yeah, this team is looking serious. And honestly, I'll probably end up getting that Diamond Dwayne Wade. But hey, right now I'm hoping I just get him out of the wheel. Right now we've got to grind for more of these centerpieces. 50 tokens are very close to us right here. So let's go ahead and let's debut some of these new players. I know Tyson not exactly going to be stretching the floor and being as much of a threat like Mo Bamba, but he'll definitely defend a lot better. And then of course, I'll put Thurl Bailey here and I'll actually put James Worthy at the three. But ah, oh, we just got Franz. Franz is a newer card, so he's going to get priority over James Worthy from now. And then George Gervin, you can just chill there. Your time is coming soon, though. With all these cards that are dropping, I probably got to sell Fox and Gervin while they got value because they'll probably tank pretty soon. But hey, no money spent, squad. Everyone's a 94 overall. Let's get to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we found ourselves a guppy for the first game. He's got Emerald John Morant. I feel bad for him low-key, but uh, into that pick and roll, Franz. Swing that, George Gervin for three. He's wasting no time missing. Oh, you want to be off this team? This is very unserious basketball right now. Come on, let's get down there. I thought there'd be more help. Right to Tyson. He's going to go ahead and get a very ugly layup. And that's our first bucket halfway through this game. Every time I play my first game, it's so troll. I have not tried Tyson Chandler's jump shot yet. I actually want to see what it's about. Catch and shoot. Oh, I don't know about all that. That's low-key a fast jumper for a big man. Uh, he'd probably need a three-point shoot for me to shoot that comfortably, but the fact that I greened it is nuts. Tyson, go off. Dunk stick it. Hey! <laughs> Look at Tyson Chandler playing defense. It is no mercy in these streets. Franz, oh yeah, inside to throw Bailey. In transition, this guy should be out of here. See, this is where the wheel is fun because we're not just hunting one of the takeover players, but if we get either or, it's a big dub at the end of the day. The two and a half spins. Manifest greatness. Oh, it goes to the wrong middle. Once again, we get a super pack. Very unorthodox lineup right here. It looks like he just finished opening packs. He's got all these forwards. He's got Shaq. He's got Jose Alvarado. I mean... Not a bad team. Shaq versus Tyson. I'm definitely pulling from the corner because his jumper's not bad. He's going to need catch and shoot, a shoe, and a couple things, but all around solid. 
Get that rebound there, Tyson. Yup, Shaq is not going to outwork you today. Let's get up the court. George Gervin, one of the flashiest guys. Pump fake. Oh, yeah, that's Thurl. Open for three. His jumper is so good. Good defense. Good defense there by Thurl. Got the rebound. Who's running with me? He goes for the clear path. The fact that you tried to intentionally foul on a fast break in clutch time is kind of crazy, but hey, I'll, I'll take the free throws in the possession. Good defense. Thurl Bailey just holding it down today, but that LeBron James, man, still one of the best cards in the game right now. Only a one point game though, so we can't relax. Look at how slow my, I will always complain about how slow the players feel. Oh yeah, dot that to France. Dimers, bang. Finesse that screen. Oh, there's not much floor spacing. You're sagging off Tyson, say less. Say less! Why is it so easy to green that jumper? Tyson Chandler might be one of the best bigs in the game. I haven't been playing much my team or Unlimited. Look at him getting the block, but I'm assuming he's probably got to be on a lot of not every budget team. Hit that what is this spacing right now? George Gervin, open for three. Go ahead and knock that down. Tyson, get down the court. LeBron's not guarding you all the way through. We got ourselves some free throws. Now, I think his free throw rating also did go up, but the biggest thing is the fact that he can stretch the floor and he's so much more athletic. Timing that free throw is not it. He flicks it too early. Hold on. That's the one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Our team is playing insane defense there by Tyson Chandler all the way through. I got to go for the right hand. I meant a dunk, but... I'll take the layup. The full court press cannot stop Thurl a couple. That was actually a bad pass. All the way inside to France. Go. Yo, why is nobody dunking the ball? <laughs> Look at that. Quarterback, throw the alley-oop. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. We're just putting on a show at this point. <sighs> All right, clutch time wheel gods. Let's do this dance again, man. Rex Chapman, honestly, and I'll never complain again. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it on the two. I thought it was gonna spin, almost ended up in the super packs again, but we're gonna walk away with a token. I need them all right now. It's the only way I'm gonna get that AD, but uh, yeah, right now the team is definitely vibing. I think I'll switch it up a little bit, throw James Worthy in at the three here for a game and just see how things go. George Gervin, you're fun, but why not throw in Corey Maggetti for a game as well? Okay, so this guy's got himself a pretty decent team. The funny thing is, his most expensive card is the T-Mac. He should've, you know, spread his Denied. assets everywhere else, but this Tyson on defense is crazy. There we go, slash of the basket, pump fake. Oh, kick that out, that's an easy three, come on. Triple Can't be leaving Darren Fox open like that. Tyson, I'm gonna need you to dog this DeAndre Ayton respectfully. Get down there, yes sir, drop step. Pump fake, he's in the air. We going up with that, that's an easy bucket. Yeah, I definitely recommend y'all go ahead and pick this card up, figure out his jump shot, give him the shooting badges, give him a shoe boost, and he's definitely gonna be a problem. We gotta get more spacing here, man. There is a lack of spacing heavily. Oh yeah, right down the middle. Corey Maggetti, what a dot, what a three. Thank you for helping there, Tracy. Whew. I'm probably gonna seg off this Aiden a little bit. I don't know if he actually has a three or not. Pump fake, oh, you're way too little. Give me get the post, yes sir. Here. Easy post spin, adios, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice layup. D Yo, nah, Tyson is him. I like this Tyson way too much. Oh, yeah, right to Corey. Stopping. Popping. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. He might be out of here. Yep, just like that, another opponent has left the match. Get me this Rex Chapman, man. One, two, two. Oh, I missed the two and a half. It's honestly very hard to time, but hey, we're getting tokens. As long as I'm not ending up in the MT, which is kind of weird to say as a no money spent player, it's just easier to get MT than it is to just go get tokens or go get a takeover player. So we're off to a bit of a slower start here, up against Pink Diamond Kareem, and honestly, I think Tyson is better than him, but that's for a different day. For three, y'all gotta start respecting my man. I think he might be better than Pink Diamond Kareem. I'm gonna say it. That's a steal, good defense. What? Look at that. It's all backdoor cut offense. Get that rebound, Tyson. Get this man out of here. Let's go to Thurl. Oh, yeah. Flashy past that. Dimers. Pow. Oh, uh, Corey Maggetti is so good. Come on. Let's hustle up the court. There we go. Hit that. Easy dot. Thurl Bailey for three. Dimer, me mama. Get there. Good defense there, Tyson. Keep protecting the paint, my guy. Worthy is moving quite slow today. I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, inside to Tyson. Big man on campus. Get there, go! Oh, what a defensive stop there by Worthy. Oh, keep cutting. Oh, that was on me. I almost messed that up. Give me the post, give me the post. Yes, sir. One drop step, pump fake. 
Pump fake, he's in the air again. Easy dunk, and that should be the nail in the coffin. 50 tokens just like that has been secured, but honestly, I'm having quite a bit of fun on clutch time, so I think we're gonna hop in for a few more. Good defense, good defense. This is a team that gets stops. Come on, yo, Thurl, that's where you gotta be running with me. Oh, I can't shoot that. Pump fake that, right back to Thurl, easy blow by. Is this BJ Armstrong? This is disrespectful. Go ahead and pull that three. Corey Maggetti is so good. Yo, what is this spacing right now, guys? What are we doing? This is so troll. I see Tyson down there, but I'm telling y'all, man, they really got to fix the freelances in my team. That's one of the things that's been super bad this year. This is one of those awkwardly low-scoring games where my team just doesn't want to hoop. Swing it to Corey. I thought he would help with Kelly Oubre. I guess not, but it just doesn't matter. Maggetti is a demon. Drive through. Pump fake. Tyson Chandler. Dagger. <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh, Tyson has not missed an open three for me yet. That's a 71 three ball. I don't think he has any shooting badges, which is uh, kind of what makes this crazier. Rex Wade, two and a half. I got that right at the half. Oh, come on, please be Rex. Ah, that's ah. unfortunate. His mic sounds like a potato, but he's got pink diamond Kobe and a bunch of random people. Okay, nice rebound there by Tyson. So to no surprise, most of his offense is indeed Pink Diamond Kobe. Wide open there with Thurl Bailey, catapult jumper, easy greens. He wants to pause, Corey Maggetti. Let's show him what we really about, man. Dimers, yes sir. One of the best guards in the game. Where are we going here? Yup, Corey, don't worry. I see you in the corner, but I also see Tyson Chandler dotting France from France for three. Even though I'm pretty sure he's from Germany. <laughs> Give me that. Good defense there, France. Someone's got to get the ball. Look at Corey Maggetti with the hustle to France. Oh, let's go to Thurl. All the way. Dot it. That's a three. You can't close out on Gear and Fox fast enough. That jumper is crazy. Nice rebound. Let's go to Thurl. Oh, yeah. You might as well go ahead and put on a show. They're going to try to foul you. No, sir. I thought he'd go for like a windmill or something. All right, man. Last chance at Rex or Dwayne Wade for the day. I like to clutch it up. And that's just not going to happen. Or maybe it is. No, you usually have to get that weird animation that kind of flicks off and then goes right to the middle or lands right in the middle right away. There's no other two animations to get those. Like they're all kind of predetermined, but overall, I think that was a fairly good run. Did we end up, what? Oh, I think that's from leveling up, but we still do not have this um, Diamond Mark Aguirre. We'll probably have him by the next episode. If I have time, I'll probably get that out to you guys tomorrow on top of whatever player ends up coming out. Again, Galaxy Opals and Pink Diamonds just around the corner for free. I'm super, super excited. And uh, yeah, man, as far as our roster goes, I mean, I can't complain about the insane additions today. OG, his time is kind of coming to an end here because France is really good. I still think Zaire can play today, but France is a better card. The fact that Thurl can play the three or the four is super OP. Like, you can run Thurl and Laurie Markinen and Tyson Chandler all on one lineup if you just want to be insanely annoying when it comes to the mashing. But hopefully, you know, they give an Evo to a brand new point guard pretty soon because they gave it to Jerry West, undersized, Terry Rozier, undersized, and I'm probably just going to go out there and get that diamond Dwayne Wade for the next episode. But uh, yeah, man, aside from that, I'm going to be grinding tokens. I'm going to be grinding domination. And I'll have to catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.